the pyramid has been replaced by the plate. Thursday, June 2, 2011, the First Lady unveiled the federal government's new food icon, My Plate, to serve as a reminder to help consumers make healthier food choices. For Americans to lead happy, productive lives, it helps to stay healthy, active, and fit. It's really pretty simple. Choose a healthier plate and balance it with exercise. It all comes down to the choices we make. That's why I'm excited to introduce to you USDA's new food icon, My Plate, a simple reminder to make healthy food choices. My Plate symbolizes mealtime and the food groups, fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. A healthy plate for every meal. It's easy, and what we eat matters. Overweight and obesity rates are at dangerously high levels, and the Obama administration has worked to support Americans who want to improve their health and nutrition. My Plate is a departure from the food pyramid you're used to seeing. It's an easy to understand visual which shows how to build a healthy meal based on the 2010 dietary guidelines for all of Americans. And if you want to learn more about a healthy diet, you can visit choosemyplate.gov to get messages, tools, and how-to materials about healthy eating. This website will equip consumers with information on staying healthy and tips on balancing calories, foods to increase, and foods to reduce. I hope you're as excited as I am about My Plate and the other resources to help Americans make healthy choices at choosemyplate.gov. Next time you sit down for a meal, before you eat, think about what's on your plate. And in the months and years ahead, we hope that My Plate becomes your plate. And indeed, which do you think is more helpful in terms of figuring out what to eat when you sit down at a meal? This or this? Nutritionists have expressed concern that Americans might equate the protein group with meat, or think dairy doesn't include soy milk, but the USDA defines the protein group as including beans and peas, soy products, nuts and seeds, and specifically highlights beans and peas as unique foods as they count towards both protein and the vegetable group. It's like a two-for-one deal. And I don't know if you caught it, but if you rewind, our Secretary of Agriculture appears to be saying, next time you sit down for a meal... Next time you sit down for a meal... Before you eat... Before you eat... Make sure you include in your diet a centerpiece of fruit and random bottles of pharmaceutical drugs.